Wow, it's October already, but I feel like something's missing. Hmm. We've had football, homecoming, cross country, and even golf. And even assembly on bullying. Hmm. Something's still missing. I got it. It's your, your nightly, nightly news. news. Welcome to the first edition of the Night News. I'm Karen. And I'm Chad. We've got stories for you on truly and golf. But first we had this look at the football nights. School is in full swing and football just makes it better. We're going to go talk to some of the senior players. What's your role on this year's football team? Starting running back, starting safety, and senior captain. How's the season going so far? We're getting ready to play El Paso. Hopefully we win. Be up to 500 and roll to the playoffs. What's your favorite memory of these past four years of football? Um, probably starting varsity my sophomore year because not many people have the opportunity to start at a young level like I did. What drives you to excel at football? Um, working hard in the weight room, practicing hard so I'm prepared for anything that happens on Friday nights. What is your role on the football team? My role on the football team is I play wide receiver and cornerback. And how does that affect the team? It affects the team by like the wide receiver, I'll either go out for a pass or I'll help block for the running back or the slot depending on the play. And for the corner I protect from long passes and I help protect from the run. How's the season going so far? The season's going pretty good this year. We look forward to having more wins in the future. What's your favorite memory of playing football? My favorite memory of playing football would have to be on Thursdays when we have our team meal I'm here with Austin, one of the four senior captains on the football team. How's the season going so far? It's been going pretty good. Prince, we're looking to keep it strong and win on homecoming for us. What's your favorite memory of the past four years of football? Beating EPG, that was a really good treat for us to finally go over there and beat them our senior year. What drives you to excel at football? Uh, just to be perfect, try to get to that next level of football, looking up to go play college. That'll be good. Uh, passion, love for the game, it's just trying to get at it. That's our update on Fieldcrest football. Stay classy, Fieldcrest. For the Nightly News, I'm Jordan. Let's finish the season strong, guys. That was a nice story, but let's check out my... Our. Sorry. Our story on cheerleading. I'm Kyle. And I'm Kyron. And this, this is, is how, how we cheer. cheer. So how many years have you been coaching cheer? This will be my fifth year. So what is your favorite part about coaching? Um, I think my favorite part is after a long, hard week of practice, um, the girls trying to get something accomplished, and then actually seeing them perform it at the game and hit it, um, that's, that's very exciting for me and the girls as well. And what would you like to see your team improve in this year? Well, we're always improving. We're always trying new things throughout the season. Um, Football season, of course, is first, so we're fresh. We have fresh things from camp that we're learning, and then as the season progresses, and then the basketball cheerleaders join us later in the season, um, we always we always find room for improvement with things. But we always seem to improve as much as we possibly can by the time basketball starts. All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you. This is your first year cheerleading. How do you like it so far? Uh, it's tight. It's I don't know. It's pretty fun. Easy. What is it like to be the only guy in the football cheerleading squad? Uh, it's pretty fun, pretty awesome. I mean, it's different, but I mean, I'm surrounded by a bunch of girls, so it's all good. <laughs> good answer, man. For the nightly news, I'm Kyle. And I'm Kyron. Now that was a nice story. Oh, really? We'll check out this really nice story that we That's right. did on golf. Rule it. I'm Chad pitching away at a story on golf. Let's go see what the players and coaches had to say about their seasons. Jordan, I was just wondering, how's your golf game going this year, Jordan? It's going wonderful, Chad. What is your lowest score this year, Jordan? 36. Where was that at? North Greens Golf Course. Well, that's wonderful. Well, I'd like to see everybody improve. Golf is such a tough game. 
Uh, we're out here tonight on the driving range and chipping and putting, trying to get better. Our, our major goal, though, is to get out of the regional and go to the sectional as a team. But uh, hopefully, if we can't get out as a team, we'll get a couple of players out like we did last year. Hopefully, somebody can make it to the state tournament. Thanks, Coach. Uh, okay for the first part of the season. I've had some rough matches lately, but planning on doing better. What is your personal, personal goal for this year? Uh, to play good in regionals and sectionals and hopefully go to state. Well, thank you, Dan. So I'm here with Caitlin about the golf season. Caitlin, how is, is your golf season going this year? Fine. Just fine? Yep. <laughs> That's all? Yeah. What are your goals to for the season? To get a chip in at a meet. Didn't you do it at practice? Yes. Me personally, not too well. I'm a lot worse than last year. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. But the girls in general were doing pretty well. We had a girl get a birdie last night, which is pretty exciting. So overall, not too bad. And Coach, I was just wondering, what are your expectations for this year? Well, we're very inexperienced, very young golfers. And I'm just really hoping that we improve day to day, match to match. Okay. And uh, what are your goals for this year? Well, I'd like to uh, see us be competitive in the HOIC, and I would like to see us be competitive in the regional. Maybe not as a team so much, but maybe as individuals, get an individual or two up at the top of the leaderboard. For the Nightly News, I'm Chad. And that's how you do it. Well, that's not bad for the first time. We'll keep working on stories. And you keep being awesome. And we'll see you next time on another edition of Your, Your Nightly, Nightly News. news.